What's up everybody? This is Ed once again here on the Blood Type online YouTube channel and uh, trying to do some different videos here. I'm, I, I know I, I watch a lot of people's videos and I appreciate the stuff that they do and um, you know I'm trying to do something a little bit different here but um, we have a lot of stuff to cover real quick so I'm going to try and get through it as fast as I can. Um, what I'm taking a look at here in this video um, is quite a unique uh, series of DVDs. Um, you know, on the Blood Type Online YouTube channel, you're going to see some DVD reviews, some stuff like that, but we're not just horror films. We like to cover cult films, exploitation films, um, and sometimes adult films. Um, and these kind of fall a little bit more into the adult category, even though it's nothing hardcore in these. Um, but it's a series of DVDs that have been released through a company called New York After Midnight, which is like a subdivision of Blue Underground. And um, there's a reason why I'm talking about what I'm about to talk about, and I'll let you know a little bit later on in the video why that is. But what I'm going to be taking a look at here is something called the Midnight Blue Collection. Now, if you're not familiar with the Midnight Blue Collection, what it basically is, is um, Blue Underground had acquired some uh, of the old Midnight Blue television show, which is a New York cable access television show um, created in the 70s, uh, partly by uh, Screw Magazine founder Al Goldstein. Um, the, these shows actually really pushed the boundaries of the FCC, and a lot of people uh, were really angered uh, about the series, and it was quite controversial for its time. And it ran quite a long time, too. Um, but thankfully, because of Blue Underground and New York After Midnight, we are treated to some of the best stuff the show's ever had, and they put them in these collections called the Midnight Blue Collection, and they broke them up by category. And we're going to take a look at the DVDs right here, because I actually have the entire set. And uh, so far, there are five volumes, with more to come, by the way, which is super cool. And I know that people are going to really be excited about the new ones to come, which is basically why I'm doing these here. And I'll tell you a little bit about those in a second. But first off, I wanted to let people know that Volume 1 in this series is the Midnight Blue Collection, the Deep Throat Special Edition. Now, what this one is, is... The show used to frequently talk to a lot of sex workers, um, adult industry people, directors and actors and stuff like that, and they would interview them for the show. Well, uh, during the, the course of the show, they have managed to get together pretty much everybody that was ever in the film Deep Throat, um, except for maybe Linda Lovelace. I wasn't quite sure, but she's not on here. So, um, And I think by the time they were doing this, she probably wouldn't have done it anyway. But... Um, Basically, there is a connection to her in this as well, because her manager, Chuck Trainer uh, gets involved. They, they interview him. Also, director of Deep Throat, Gerard Damiano, rest in peace. He's no longer with us. Um, also, Carol Connors gets interviewed on here. And for those of you who don't know who she is, she's actually the mom of Thora Birch, uh, who's an actress who's, who's appeared in American Beauty and a, and a lot of other films. Um, also, Harry Reams is on here as well. Uh, Al Goldstein is on here, and uh, this is a really, really good look into the whole Deep Throat uh, thing. It, it's really, it gives you kind of a perspective on what these people were like at the time where the film was made, or when the film came out, and and on Harry Reem's part, actually, a lot about the, the aftermath whenever he went through a lot of legal troubles due to the movie. And um, it's a really good DVD. This is the first one I've seen in the series. I highly recommend it. Um, it still stands up pretty much as the best one out of this series, except for another one that I'm going to show you. But it's a damn fine one. Definitely recommend this one. Um, if anybody out there has ever seen Inside Deep Throat, which is actually a documentary about the movie, uh, this is actually a really nice companion piece to that, too. So I highly recommend this one. Uh, volume 2 in this series is another really fun one, um, and it's one that I really enjoyed uh, quite a bit. But um, it, it kind of plays a little bit into... Um, the Deep Throat Special Edition, but um, this is Volume 2 of the Midnight Blue Collection, and it's called Porn Stars of the 70s. Um, and this one actually features interviews with the cream of the crop, and I mean that. Uh, Annie Sprinkles is on here, uh, Georgina Spelvin is interviewed, uh, Marilyn Chambers, uh, once, once again, uh, rest in peace to her, she just passed away recently too, uh, Bambi Woods uh, from Debbie Does Dallas, and also Sika, who was a complete legend of the video days. But this also has uh, something to... There, there's also a, a few other people on here. Very Naughty, by the way. Uh, if you don't know who she is, you might be interested in her. Um, she has quite the, the unique trick that plays into her name. Uh, Mark Stevens, Jamie Gillis, who is the man. 
Carter Stevens, Jennifer Wells, Helen Madigan, and more um, all appear on this one. Um, and it comes complete, like in all these do too, they have commercial breaks in between them. And uh, for those of you who are unaware of what Midnight Blue was, they actually used to have uh, uh, ads for prostitutes and escorts and, and a lot of wacky stuff. But And they're all on here. They're censored. You can't find the numbers and stuff, but it still has them intact. Very cool. And also that appears on every edition of these as well. But this one's one of my favorites as well. Highly recommend the Porn Stars in the 70s edition. Uh, volume 3 is not quite as good as some of the other ones, but it's still pretty interesting and, it, and it's definitely funny. But it's the Midnight Blue Collection, Volume 3, the Celebrities Edition. That's right, a lot of celebrities actually appeared on the Midnight Blue show. Um, and a lot of them are on, on the cover here. You ha and, and it's an amazing list of people, believe me. They have uh, R. Crumb, who's a very, very well-known uh, artist. Uh, he did Calvin and Hobbes, I believe. Um, also... O.J. Simpson is on here, you know, famous football player slash murderer. Uh, Russ Meyer, the famed uh, sexploitation film director. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Debbie Harry from Blondie, uh, Gilbert Godfrey. They actually, uh, also Tiny Tim is on here as well. But one of the funniest parts about this DVD is it actually contains, um, like, <laughs> some sex tape stuff. Um, basically, if you've ever heard of the stuff, that if you've ever heard or seen of the Go-Go's, um, they've actually did kind of a groupie video thing where they're basically trying to coerce a groupie into doing something sexually with their manager or a roadie. Um, and also there's another video of Rob Lowe. It's supposedly, allegedly Rob Lowe. Um, it's hard to tell. It's very fuzzy. But they, they present it as such. So... It, it's pretty funny to see that stuff, and, and it's real. It, the Schwarzenegger stuff is hilarious. The O.J. Sim, OJ Simpson gets interviewed from the Hooker's Ball in San Francisco. I think it was in '79, and they ask him all kinds of embarrassing questions. It's hilarious. Um, Penn and Teller is pretty funny on here. Gilbert Godfrey is pretty funny on here. Um, but it's it's pretty cool. Um, it's 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 cool to see that these guys, um, you know, actually went on the show. Um, and also this one contains some interesting rants. Al Goldstein's famous rants are on here. He has some really good ones on here. I highly recommend that one as well. Um, this one is an interesting one, but it's definitely my least favorite, I think, out of the series that I've seen. And it's uh, Volume 4, Freaks and Geeks. Now, this actually has some, some stuff uh, that is interesting, but it's, it's not quite as good as the rest of them. Um, there's something called the Full Monty, which is an all-nude review at the Screw Magazine 30th Anniversary Party, uh, where there's way too many people that should not be unclothed, that are unclothed, Al Goldstein included. Uh, they show some stuff about swing clubs, a cat house for dogs, which is a joke segment. Um, also, something called the Spermathon, which uh, former porn actress Tara Alexander uh, tries to break the world gangbang record at Plato's Retreat. That's on there as well, um, including all kinds of other good stuff. Um, not quite as good as the other ones, but it's still a fun watch. Definitely would recommend that you at least check this one out, especially if you enjoy the other ones. I'm glad I have it in my collection. But finally, there is the main event, Volume 5, the best one in the series, technically, to me, along with Deep Throat, but it's, I probably like this one a little bit better. And this one actually is not really the Midnight Blue show at all. There's a few extras that include uh, stuff from Midnight Blue, but overall, it's just uh, a documentary based on Al Goldstein, and it's called Porn King. This needs to be seen to be believed. The story of Al Goldstein is absolutely fascinating. The guy was a trailblazer in the industry of the uh, adult films uh, with Screw Magazine. Um, he did what Playboy and Hustler and all these adult magazines did before they did it. And, um, you know, the guy's basically, you know, a revolutionary guy when it comes to the adult industry. So check that out, Porn King. So let's review. I'm going to check out the series real quick here. You have Volume 1, the Deep Throat Special Edition. You have Volume 2, Porn Stars of the 70s. You have Volume 3, the Celebrities Edition. Volume 4, Freaks and Geeks. And Volume 5, Porn King. And just to let everybody know, the reason why I'm talking about these is this. This summer, they're going to be releasing two more Porn Stars of the 80s and Porn Stars of the 90s. 
keep out for a look out on that. Thanks everybody for checking out the video once again. This is Ed for the Blood Type Online YouTube channel, and go watch some movies.